I've been gone for about five weeks now, which is not m long for many. But it's been an eternity for me. And through that time away, I've had to think, reflect over what I've done past five years. Because you see, when I started in case of a case, W started, I wasn't around. Which hurt, because when this company started, it was meant to be a group of people. The originals, the KXW originals is what we've labeled them. It was Christian Payne, Astro Rose, Tom Terror, Jordan Fox, um, JJ Biggs, Alex Snow, American Nightmare, Clint Narski, and more. It from the start of this company came from a group of people in AWC and we brought it here. We brought it to KSW so that guys like us could get opportunities when it was not guaranteed. And somewhere down the line I got I got left behind. And that built a, a chip on my shoulder. A chip on my shoulder that I've carried for five years. And I've carried it with pain and a want for revenge. And, and I want just to be here, here in KXW, because that, it's all I have. I don't have anything else. See, because everyone else could go somewhere else. Everyone else could go to other companies. They have other options. I don't. Because through my time away of not being here, I burnt bridge after bridge after bridge after bridge, all based on a chip on my fucking shoulder. And I came back. And I made an enemy and I chose to pick a fight with a man who I felt the need to blame. I needed to blame someone I felt who I considered my best friend and I chose that as my target and I chose him as my target so I had someone to blame. He wasn't to blame, though. I was. I was to blame. Through all these years, I just wanted things in my own mind, vision it how I wanted. And if it didn't see that way, I just ran. But for the months that I have been in that locker room as the Kojiko champion, for the months I've sat in that locker room, I have come to the realization that I am lucky to be in this KXW locker room. I mean, because we have one of the most unbelievable talent rosters you could ask for. We got American Nightmare. We got Jordan Fox. We got Christian Payne. We got Ashton Rose, Tommy Gunn, Max Maximus, Sila Jordan, Blade Wyatt, Diego Rivera, Ben Rivers, Kieran Cook, fucking Marvin, you got fucking Harley Davidson, fucking Nick Owens when he comes around, you got it. I could go on. 
Think of the women we got. We got one of the greatest women's rosters in the world that got their own show to showcase how fucking amazing they are. And I lost my Kojiko title 21st century breakdown to a destroyer, a dominating destroyer in Blade Wyatt. No one to blame, I lost to him. Fair and square, he beat me. I gave everything I could, but in the end, I lost. And I've sat and I've thought about what I, what's next? Do I run away again? Do I complain? Do I bitch? Do I moan? The answer is no, not this time. Because am I a bad guy? For loving the place I work? Am I a bad guy for loving... Three letters that were built off of a name and a group of people... Who I've been down the road with? Who have lived... Who I've lived, breathed, and would die for? In the originals. Well, except one. Because he's a turncoat piece of shit. But that's a different... Different time frame. But I will not, I, I don't want to lose this. And after I lost, I sat home, I thought my career was over. Because Christian Payne said that when we were done, when I lose that belt, he's going to get rid of me. As he had every right to do, as the owner. Despite the fact he doesn't want people to acknowledge that, he is. And I thought my career was over, and then I got a phone call. And in that phone call, he was from him and Michael C. Rowan, letting me know that whenever I want to come back, a job is there for me. And it's through that time that I realized that It was that that awoke in me the realization that I've just been a bitter old dude. Just a bitter dude who needed to find excuses when really there were none to be there. And it's that that brings me to now. Brings me to the UN Awards when I will return. First time in I think maybe two months by that point to fight Brandon Wolf in a lion's den. And the people who wonder why. Me and Brandon Wolf are fighting. Well, me and Brandon Wolf got on Twitter. Why did me and Brandon Wolf go at it on Twitter? It's because I picked a fight and said something that Mr. Adam Styles. And I've never liked the Lionheart Mafia. I've never liked Adam Styles. From the moment he walked in here, I never liked him. I never liked him because of the fact he thought he was above this place. I never liked him because he thought he should just be handed everything. I never liked because he he saw... He, he talked so much, but delivered so little. And with my time away, and I watched, and I looked at the Lionheart Mafia, and looked at what they did, and I realized they are trying to destroy this company. They're trying to destroy a place I love. And I can't let them. I can't let them. I can't. I won't let them destroy 
three letters that all my life in K X W I won't let them do it. Adam Stowell's Your time will come when me and you will be in that ring facing each other and when that happens you will not be walking out. But unfortunately for you, you have sent your beast as the example. See, Brandon Wolf, you have so much potential. But instead of you using that potential, you've decided to go be Adam um, Styles' coffee boy. Just be the guy he puts in a cage and sends when he needs some stuff done for him. And what was your big message you sent to me? You take out Johnny Knoxville? That's the big message? Come on. Brandon Wolf. You are going to lose the Lions Den match. You are not going to beat me because you don't have what it takes. You don't have the rage and the focus to beat me. And I'm going to use you as the example of why you do not pick a fight with KXW. I am the heart and soul of this damn company. I am not letting no one take it. You consider yourself the beast when well, the lion's den at the year-end awards the beast gets slayed.